So today we are going to be making um, toy fences for your like toy horses. I like to work on aluminum foil and what and the glue tends to stick on it. So I use like canola oil and I and I spray it onto a paper towel and then I just wipe it around so that the glue won't stick to it. So what you're going to need is popsicle sticks, something to cut your popsicle sticks because you'll see why in the video, and you'll also need a glue gun. So what you're going to do is, <clears throat> you're going to take two popsicle sticks, and then take one popsicle stick and put two glue, put two dots on the end of your popsicle sticks. And you want to put it down just a little bit so it has like that. And then you're going to try to make it as even. And then you're going to get another popsicle stick. And you're going to put two dots at the end. And put it back just down here. So that it just looks better. And then you're going to flip it over and get um, another popsicle stick and put it like right there. And then you're going to get another popsicle stick with two dots of glue on the end and put it like right where you had your other one and connect it to your other popsicle stick. And get another glue on the both sides and get popsicle sticks. Once you're done making it even, you can now it's gonna be on this side because it already has it on this side and it's kind of weird. So you're going to put the glue on this side. So you would get another popsicle stick and you would put it across and get, then you would put it down. And do the same thing with the next one. flat so that it can stand and that takes about a few seconds to maybe a minute so now you have now what you do is you chop it in half and I'm using I'm using a diagonal cutter to just chop it in half and then you're going to put dots of glue on the cut end side and you're going to take it and you're going to put it like that on the floor right there make it so that it stands and you're going to hold that for a few seconds. And now you do the same to the other one. And this time, it's going to be on the other side so that it has support from both sides. And it's, and then when you make a lot of these, you can connect them so it looks like a long fence. And once you do this, it will, then it can stand up by itself and you don't have to touch it and you don't have to move it. And it's a great way for a fence. If you make it in threes, you can 
do in this design, you can do different types of ways, and you can make it however you want, like you can make square, rectangles, ovals, stuff like that. So, and then there's the finishing product.